Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be coaching Kiwi. So after the introduction, we'll get into the first carousel and what items and champions and combinations of items and champions you should prioritize. Then we'll focus on what you should actually play on round 2-1 and why you should play or basically how to build your strongest board. Then, a little bit later, we'll still discuss the early game more, like physical damage versus magical damage, vanguards versus other units, what's really good and what will help you kind of steamroll through the early game into the mid game. Later we'll discuss how to atomize your champions. Obviously it's, it's always different, but there are some things you should always think about. Then uh, we'll discuss um, how to use a spatula because uh, it's, it's kind of obvious, yes, you want demo spat on Kai'Sa when you're going mech, but then there are still a, a lot of other possibilities uh, of how to use a spatula effectively. Uh, later, we'll focus on actually like rolling down late game. Uh, if you're being flexible, which is something you should strive to be, how to roll down effectively in the late game and how to maximize uh, like the number of potential pivots you can make. And uh, before we close the game out, uh, we'll discuss uh, Kiwi's biggest mistake, uh, how he could have actually won the game uh, going into the late, late game or the so-called end game. Uh, he, made, he made a huge mistake, he's aware of it. So we'll discuss how that mistake could have been avoided and what actually could have been done instead. So thank you guys for tuning in. Enjoy the video and let's dive right into it. And here we are, opening carousel. Reroll galaxy, oh god, okay. So first things first, uh, what are you getting and why? Sword of growth. Just because I think they are very flexible items. Uh, um, if I cannot get them, I will try to look for belt. Uh, no, for armor and then possibly I'll, I'll check what's left. But yeah, sword and, and, and glove are my priorities. Okay, okay. This is real reroll galaxy, right? Yeah. There's a Zara with a glove. Yeah. Yeah, that should be another one. That should be, exactly, right? Like, these are the things like, in general, Zaya with a glove or sword, Poppy with a with an armor, Kazakhs with a sword, uh, bow, potentially armor, right? Like these are like units you can like you can already use the unit and the and the um, item, right? Yeah. So if you see any of these pairs, like or like a Ziggs with a tear, for example, that's like also something you really want to get. So that just like yeah yeah. So the best thing is the, yeah. is the sword. The sword is the best, but it's good if you just think about uh, units, like the champions and the items they're, that they, they're carrying. Right. And it even, it even, like it matters even more, like, or maybe less on the reroll, because you can, like, you can still easily get nine Zayas, even if he picks up the initial one. But it's kind of like, in general, like the early game carousel can... Maybe not like determine your composition, but it can determine your early game. Let's say like if you get two more Zayas, you can do early game Zaya, for example. Yeah. Yeah. But the sword, like the sword is the best. You 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 have your hotkey set up, you know how to grab stuff, so that's great. Yeah. You're even scouting here. Oh no. Wait, what? You didn't get the sword, you got the armor. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, question here. Do you want Caitlyn with an armor? No, I do not. Do you sell that? No, you don't sell the Caitlyn, okay. So you should probably sell the Caitlyn with the armor, right? Yeah, yeah. Because here I would sell the Caitlyn with the armor and buy, buy the TF. Yeah, okay. Because I don't yeah, want a better early carry because of the synergies. It is very easy to trigger synergies for the early game. This is kind of specific to the fact that you have a Caitlyn. So like TF and Caitlyn are Chrono. Mm. 
also potentially I would buy the poppy so that's another like basically the big mistake here is having the Caitlyn with the armor in the round like uh, on the field Okay. Cause you you want to sell her. You don't want to Caitlyn with an armor. You don't want to get a two star Caitlyn with an armor. Cause I like unless you want to get like a G on her. But it's like Caitlyn's yeah. So you should always play the units that you want to keep. So I think keeping Poppy, keeping Caitlyn is fine. Or even like selling both of the Caitlyns and buying a Poppy and a TF. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Okay. No. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Ping, if I may, there is no video. So I'm not I'm not seeing what you see. Oh my god, really? Yeah. And you just told me that now? I, I sent I, I was trying to be discreet, so I just <laughs> sent a Discord message to not interrupt. <laughs> Buddy, like you, you gotta okay. <laughs> oh no, is he going to notice? Okay, thanks. Sorry. Uh so wait, did that did that make any sense to you what I was talking about before? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah like you this. ended up you ended up selling the Caitlyn anyway, and you had Caitlyn with an armor, so yeah. yeah. So now, yeah, I guess yeah, you can get. Okay, yeah, buying the Fiora pair, and buying the Ziggs. Good, good. Yeah, this is fine. Very good. Very nice high roll. Oh, it's unfortunate you didn't get the poppy early. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah, that would be stage two one well, just with this. Okay, why is this bad? What is like this composition? I'm not saying you won't win, but why is this bad? There is no front lane. Yeah. Of any sort. Exactly. So I should have. Xaya, I, I would have removed Xaya and put Blitz. Yeah. Like I'm since doing fine for this round, but yeah. Since your no units balance. are two star, it's it's okay. Yeah. But it's still really like really scary that if 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 they have it like if the guy had this guy, I mean yes, it's in low diamond, so the guys aren't like they maybe they don't understand these concepts either. But if if this guy was playing two vanguards. Oh, but you have you have the Ziggs as well, so maybe yeah, maybe it's it's kind of okay. It, it was strong, but I, I get I, I really get what you say. But in situation, I mean, I was lucky enough to have three two stars. That felt okay for one round. I I hope I yeah don't. I, I hope I do something different. I, I think I'm. Oh, okay. Different. So he has three blade masters, which is even worse. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So three blade masters is even worse. Okay. Wait, 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 what? Can you give me one good reason why you didn't buy all those units? And for some reason, yeah. it's, it's slow. Yeah, I, sh I should always in Real Galaxy buy everything before. Yes, uh, exactly. Especially in the, yeah, yeah. It, okay, first of all, you know about the, the roll chances, right? Yeah. Yeah, so by, by buying everything, you increase the chances of getting something else. Which is, I mean, it's 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 extremely small. Like the chance of getting something else is extremely small. I, I yeah, get that, but it at, works. It works. But at the same time, uh, you can actually hit another another two star, right? So here, Malphite is for Brawler, Leona is for uh, Vanguard. Like those are units I would pick up anyway. So I don't really understand that you didn't get either one of them. Yeah. I think you get okay. So you get the Leona. Sorry. So you get the Leona. Yeah, I should. I should have got the the mouse fight as well. Okay, so you get the Chrono buff. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is it's it's tough because the units are two stars. So I understand. I understand why. Um. Also. Do you have any composition in mind? So I'm always thinking about cybers in the early game, especially given that I have red buff. Okay. That maybe 
in some games, this can leads me to tunneling a bit too hard on Cybers. But you just right now, sold I'm, the I'm you sold Leona. So yeah, I think yeah. I guess. Okay, so I'm not playing. Yeah, okay. I have to be more consistent. No, no, no. I mean, it's it's fine. It's it's fine. Like you don't have to go. But um, what I'm thinking about is the items. Like, is there any reason you haven't, like. Because the thing is, like, maybe you, you have a Ziggs and maybe you like playing Rebels. I like playing Rebels. So I would not put anything on Ziggs. And I know I won't be selling... I know I won't be selling... Um, uh, Blitz for a long time. But Caitlyn and Zaya are going to be gone. So maybe you can put Red Buff on Zaya if, you, if you're thinking about making Red Buff. If you're not, then maybe put an Armor on Zaya. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, just to use the, the components. Just use the components, even on 2-1. Like, if you don't want to make a full item, use the components. It'll help you win more. And if you can make it, make it like, in this, like, this is a, a great example of, like, you have red buff. So it's, like, the only thing you can make is either red buff or, like, uh, Titans or uh, ZZ Rod. So ZZ yeah, Rod is kind of okay, uh, but it uses a bow, which is which can be useful for better things. Yeah, I'm not close my yeah. options that early in the game. Uh, but like ZZ Rod is ex like extremely yes. flexible at the same time. Mm. So if you have like a, a two star Caitlyn, you can put her in the front and put a ZZ Rod, ZZ Rod on her, and that way she's kind of a, a secondary tank. That is something I would consider since I don't have tanks, right? Okay. Yeah. So it's like let's see how this plays out. Like he's he's still level three because I guess you're smart enough to know that you should level, but he isn't. But look at that. Where is your front yeah, line? Yeah, exactly what you yeah, exactly what you mentioned. So you get beat up. Okay, yes, his units are a little bit stronger, but it's like he has he has three ones uh yeah, three stars. Uh, sorry. Uh three two star units. Already. <laughs> but you have but you have three star three two star units as well. Mm. And you have a blitz. Which is giving you chrono, which is like chrono is like the only synergy you have. For your carries is an aggressive synergy. Does that make any sense to you? Like you have a, a defensive one as well. You have an offensive synergy and you have offensive units. Just offensive units. So of course like of course you're going to lose to someone who has who has a better front line. Like two Vanguard mm -hmm. plus a sniper is amazing. That is something like you could have built as well. Yes, you have to get rid of the Ziggs, or you can you can keep the Ziggs and put in uh yeah, I don't yeah, or like just um, if you if you didn't level up, but like you leveled up, so put in Mort and uh, and Poppy, for example. Mort, Poppy, Blitz, Caitlyn. You think that loses to anything, or like nah, nah, you think nah, yeah, that, that's very strong? Yeah. yeah. So that's just like it's like you gotta think on the fly, or like not even think on the fly. Like you know that Vanguards are the best since I don't know what is it, ten eight, ten nine, when they got buffed. Vanguards are the best. Yeah, the only thing that counters Vanguard is Ziggs or or some sort of sorcerer comp. Yeah. Early game. Because like mostly like yes, your Caitlyn does some magical damage, but most of the damage usually is physical. Yeah. So they, they mitigated all the physical damage and your Caitlyn almost killed them. So Vanguards are the best, followed maybe by like Brawlers, potentially by protectors, or like a Graves, or like a Shen. Whatever you can get. Like you have a non-existent uh, front line, and that's why you lost. And you open the damage tab. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing this because I, I'm wondering. Yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah, there is an issue with the damage. Okay, that's no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, roll. So you're not picking up the mortar guys. If you're not picking up, okay, this is oh, like it. You have crazy damage. But you have like no defense. So if you're playing against someone who's smart and who actually builds a tank and a carry, then they beat you. Like yes, you won you won two rounds, but you only won like no offense, but you only won because your opponents are bad, not that you played well. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, your opponents are bad, so you won. But you shouldn't like higher like I, I guess you, you're striving for master, so higher up you shouldn't win this. Yeah, yeah, precisely. I think I just over prioritize to have these two synergies. Yeah. Even though it's not very useful. I mean, now that I look now at this game, 
I, I don't think Blade Master has any purpose. I mean, it's fine, but I could I could do better in this. Uh, you just like Blade Master is good, but it's a it's a late game synergy, and you didn't take the Blitz. I okay. Just yeah, probably a mistake. Always spend all of your gold. There's no reason not to like when you're rerolling, you can just buy everything and then you sell stuff. Right? Good, you're putting that on the poppy. Good. Potentially, I would put the armor on the poppy because she has enough health, but she doesn't have any the she doesn't have an armor buff. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and this is already very much stronger. Yeah, they're just adding one poppy, mm. so that that's a tank. That's good. I'm glad that you level up and you don't that you're not uh, like stingy with your money that you level up. You're putting it. You need to put in the mort over, yeah, over that. Yeah, the mort over the Caitlyn would be even even better. Or wait, where was the? Oh, the blitz over Caitlyn would have been fine too. And why is why is this composition in general bad? What would what would have been the better composition? Right here, I have. I don't think Shen is very nice. I, I would have yeah, placed yeah, yeah. Blitz against Shen. You sold something very crucial. I sold the Blitz. The Ziggs. Ziggs. You have so oh, much. Yeah, he, you he have so damage. much physical damage. You have only physical damage right now. So if someone has, if someone is smart enough, which I don't know why these guys aren't. He has a poppy on the bench. If someone is smart enough to play vanguards. He counters everything. Apart from like Caitlyn ultiing once every 10 seconds. Right, okay, I, I see the... Okay, I see the so, so even from the beginning, you should start to diversify the damage because many people are running Vanguard, so... Yeah, I mean, really that, that's, why, that's why you need to value Ziggs and Ari a lot. Because Ziggs and Ari are the only... Like, if you don't have red buff, Ziggs and Ari are the only way you can deal with Vanguards. And like higher up, smarter people will play vanguards most of the time. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ziggs is so powerful early, precisely because he can he can like melt through the vanguards. And look at this, like losing again, because you have too many carries and not really like a front line. Yeah. Oh, he has cyber buff. Okay. Um. Well, it's super strong, but I. Could have saved some HP, definitely. Uh, but if you had the Ziggs, the Ziggs would have done more damage, I believe. Yeah. I'm kind of scared to go back. Okay, it froze again. No, it didn't. Um... So you see that they're, they're doing physical damage. Just physical damage. And it's kind of lacking. Right? So if you just have like two vanguards... And maybe Caitlyn and Ziggs, then it's like then then you're set. Even against three cybers and, and two blasters, that's already. I mean, they don't have red buff, so maybe. Uh, perhaps. It, it's close. It's close. It's close. Um, it's definitely closer than this. Cause look at look. Okay, look at the damage tab. He's only doing physical damage. Yeah, yeah. That that was a very easy counter. I mean, by scouting you. When you scout in new early games, you are going to check. Okay, this guy, this lobby is only physical damage. So uh, you don't need to scout. You don't need to scout for that. Right. I will tell okay. you, like, ninety percent of lobbies will not have more than two uh, sorcerers or zigs. So it's like, okay. either it's you, or it's like two other guys who are playing a zigs and a, an ari. Maybe like maybe higher up, uh, and you can add Kazix. But for Kazakhs, you're positioning well against Kazakhs. So, like, it's only physical damage early on. That's why Vanguards are so good. Like, I, if you watch the tournament today, what, what got me so tilted, I was 100 HP until 4-1. Because until 4-1, I could just level up and put in a better unit. At 4-1, I have to level, I have to reposition, I have to do more complex things, which I cannot do on 400 ping. Like, I'm sorry, I just can't do it quickly enough on 400 ping. Like, mm. but, like, normally... Uh, getting getting to like four one on one hundred HP is something you should aim for. Okay, yeah. So you just level very aggressively. Maybe do you pre level to to achieve that? Uh, um, you pre level at two three. Uh, okay, so they're like countering like my my 
my thought process is if I can get to 10, like if I'm winning, I always pre-level or I level as much as I can. So yes, I would. If I'm losing, I only pre-level if I don't have 10 gold. Like if I can get 10 gold, I get to 10 gold. If I can't, then I still can pre-level. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, um, I kind of am a fan of leveling on 2-1. I used to think people were completely stupid for leveling on 2-1. Because I like, I usually try, like, before when I was in, like, Diamond, I'm like, okay, so I need to play my best three units. If I win, then I level up and I keep winning. But it's like, you can just level on 2-1. On and just, if, if, yeah, if, yeah. if you have, like, two Vanguard, two Blaster, or, like, any sort of synergy, then, then you level on 2-1. And then you level again on the carousel, so at two five you're five. And then if you're crazy, you can even go to you can even go to six on uh, two six. Okay, so 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 six uh, during stage two is feasible if it is strong enough. I mean, if you won all four previous rounds, and you want to make sure that like and you th and you think it'll help or you think you can win the next round by going to six, it's worth it. Because you get plus three gold for the win streak, so that's plus six gold, plus seven gold. You get one gold for the win, and you get three gold twice, so that's seven gold. Right? Seven gold is a lot of gold. So if, if you have 20 gold, you get two interest and three interest. And if you're on the win streak and you have zero gold, you get, uh, uh, you get four gold, and then you get uh, like one interest on crux, so you get another four gold. So it's like, okay. and you get HP. HP is like the added bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, ninety is not that. Ninety four is like completely fine, but it's it's unfortunate it that be, you, it could be ninety eight. Yeah. Right. Um, ninety eight or one hundred. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the more annoying thing is the the win loss, like the win loss, win win loss. Yeah. In this situation of win loss of being prone, are you going to still push aggressively? Or no. are you going to rather recon and... Uh, I, I, as soon as I lose, like, maybe, maybe like, I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. Like, this is my understanding of the game. Uh, as soon as I lose, I go to 50. So I'm aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And as soon as I, like, if I win, like, that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's maybe a mistake. So I guess you couldn't have leveled. But, like, if you win on 2-6, uh, on 2-5, you really have to win on 2-6. Right? That's extremely yeah. important. Yeah, otherwise you, you cannot... Don't have the icon and don't have the streak anymore, so you don't have anything. Yeah, so then you need gold. Then you need to get as much gold as you can. Right. So it's like... I'm like... My thought process is I need to be either extremely aggressive and have a win streak and have HP. Because as soon as I start losing, like that's what I usually do, like... Mostly I do it relatively correctly. As soon as I like, I hit, I don't know, 50 gold, maybe I have a win streak, maybe I don't, maybe I have 40 gold on a win streak, I, I lose one, and I have 40 gold to fall back on, I have 50 gold, and then I just use the gold to get more interest, and then I get like a fast 7 or even a fast 8. And then I roll down for, for units, or I, or I hit them naturally. That's okay. kind of like the flow, of, like that's, that's why I typically don't play high pro or slow, slow roll comps, because I want to get to 7, sorry? No, yeah, 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 yeah. High pro slow, slow roll because I want to get to seven to maybe find a kale or a jinx or a gin or something I can use, and then get to eight to find like a gangplank or an MF and just like if I can find them on like five, four, three or four, five, then it's amazing. That's that's interesting. So you're just pushing for four costs at level seven and five costs at level eight. Yes. Okay, interesting. Especially the most like. That... Okay, so Gangplank, if you, have a, if you have a GA, if you can make a GA, Gangplank is your win condition for almost any composition. Like Gangplank, right. like, yeah. if you, even if you, get, like, if you get larger area or something like that, like, you don't need to play Sorks, you don't need to play Rebels, like, uh, I, I won, I got second in the tournament because I, I had Chrono Ash with Gangplank. And it was hilarious and, like, there was a lot of lag and I almost won. Like, the first guy had, like, 80-something HP and I got him down to, like, 20. And I had one, like I had two lives, and I had gangplank two in the middle, and he just like almost killed everything. And then like a composition is like gangplank plus cleanup crew, or uh, if you have a shojin, like shojin spear of shojin and a QSS, that's a MF plus cleanup crew. So it's like these items enable these OP carries. Right. Okay. 
Now, Zaref, I, I got Zaref 2 and I got like 6, so fuck that guy. Um, Thresh is kind of okay. Uh, Aso is, is also trash. But like GP with GA is amazing. And right behind him is MF. So like if you can find those units, you use them in almost any composition. And as for four costs, yeah, uh, there's um, Wukong is good, Cho is good, and then if you have Jinx or Kale or even Jin, you can like use them uh, for most compositions, like to build a composition around. That's why I like leveling quickly because I can hit something on five, six, or seven. And uh, what I have what I've learned and what I have started doing is rolling rolling more on seven. Like you can even two star a four cost or like at least hit a four cost, like based on my HP and or win streak. If I'm win streaking, I can roll on seven. If I'm loss streaking, I can roll on eight, based on my HP. So I guess we'll get into it like later into the game. But this is just yeah. like yeah. So okay, sure. yeah, this is just just uh, some something to think about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't consider Aurelia in your list of four Oh, sorry. Yeah, I I missed her. I um. Because some people say it's it's. Not as good as the others. Uh no, I just keep I just kept losing to Irela, so I hate the bitch. But um yeah, <laughs> she she co completely slaughtered me in the in the first pool of unit. Like she was the one who killed me over and over again. Cause like I, I got the Zaraf too, and she just slaughtered him, or Jinx, and she slaughtered like Irela is good. Sorry, yeah, yeah Irela is okay, is, is okay. up there. And the the cool thing is, if you build like a Last Whisper, who can use a Last Whisper? Well, anyone. I mean, Jinx, Jin. Yeah, uh, Jinx, Jinx, Jin, Jin, and Irelia. So that's like building the last whisper is never wrong. Uh, okay. Rage Blade is more specific, but like last whisper or even a GA, those are kind of like you can put it on any unit. So those are like some things you want to lean towards more. Certainly, yeah. Yeah. And like the most fun and the most satisfying victories are with like whatever comps I I just put together on the fly. Yeah, you definitely feel Amazing. creative. Yeah. Amazing. No, what are you? No, no, no. Yes, no, you are. Uh, yes. Oh, God. Took you a while, but you I got don't, it. I don't even think I knew what I was doing at this point. But you have Chrono and you have uh, Celestial. That's amazing. Like, now you can't lose anymore. And you should have... Oh, man. Why would you... S ah! Why sell the Fiora if she's already two-star? There, there was no reason. I wasn't yeah. even getting a gold threshold. So, uh, no, you did. You you got to, like... like oh, You yeah, bought the Yasuo and the Poppy, but you sold the Fiora. I mean, this is me. I sell too fast. Uh, I... Often I don't wait before the round is finished. Oh man, why out. why did you put the tear on the blitz? That's like Ah, sorry, I don't want to be mean, but that's like so stupid, bro. What does tear do for blitz? Please enlighten me. It he might ult a second time. No. Not even? It does absolutely nothing. Do you know how tear works? It just oh it, it you get fifteen okay. mana and he starts with full mana already. Okay, right. Okay. You have a Cassadin one tile over. Redemption on Cassadin would be brilliant. Because Cassadin goes in, he gets his ulti off, he dies. Right? Absolutely, yeah. The only the only thing you can make on Blitz is Spear of Sojin for, for, for like some trolling stuff. But like okay. and redemption on him like uh, it's just so much better on Cassadin. Okay. Because he, you see, he starts with zero mana again. Like after he casts. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's, yeah and we go back. Because this is this is important. Um. Let's see the Cassadin. Okay, Cassadin. Yeah, Cassadin does ulti. But now, now Cassadin. I have pushed. Maybe I should have leveled. Um, uh, you had one win, it's fine. Okay, yeah. What are you doing? Can you count, bro? Can you count to 10? I think so. Yes. Really? 
Can you perhaps count to 10 before the round ends? I know this was like hectic, but like at any point during the fight, what I always do is I count. So Ash is three, Yasuo is two, uh, Kaisa is two, Poppy is one. So that's one, three, uh, five, eight. Yeah, that's eight. I'm at 31, 31 plus 8, so if I win, I sell everything. If I don't win, I chill. That's kind of like, this is so simple. It's like a simple concept. Have it, always have it in mind, right? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's something I need to, I need to use more the fights time to do stuff. It's kind of the moment in which I just sit, even though there is a lot of things to do. Well, like the, the yeah, key thing yeah. to do is at least to count your bench so that like yeah. this stupid shit doesn't happen that like you you like now if you have time it's like okay so four six seven eight nine that's nine yeah yeah no so problem. you count to so nine if I, win, if yeah. I win, would sell yeah if you I win you win. sell yeah why should you not like why do you have the two units here on the right I don't know if you see my cursor but why do you have Irelia and shit on the right I, because there are two blade masters, and in the end, I don't want to include them. I was thinking of uh, free cyber, free blade master, Irelia, Kale Comp at stage, so Shen was. Yes, essential. these are these are units you want to keep. So I have no yeah. idea why all of a sudden you sell yeah. with Irelia. Like okay. I like it's good to put the units on the right to make sure you don't sell them. Like these are units I'm keeping. It's unfortunate for some reason you sold the Fiora too, which you could have like had as well. So it would have been it would have been really nice to have the Fiora 2 on your bench, but it's it's gone. But Irelia is great for Mana Reaver. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, especially that early. I mean, what's your opinion on Mana Reaver? It's OP. That, that even that early in the this game, early you know when it's always um, you know, it's always fantastic. Uh, this early maybe not as fantastic, but on Irelia, who like if she gets a kill, she zooms to the target of highest mana and mana reaves them. It's hella OP. That's the most frustrating thing ever. Like if my Zaref, like whenever my Zaref was about to cast, Irelia either killed him or sh or she mana reaved him so he would never cast. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way, but yeah, it sounds real. Yeah. Yeah, her ability is attack the unit with the highest mana, like mm -hmm. current mana. So if Blitz, if Blitz gets up to hundred mana, she attacks him and he goes from one twenty five to. Uh, sorry, I can't feel like 170. Uh, 60% rate? 40%. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But 40% is it. still a lot. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think you could win. You probably wouldn't win this. You could have leveled up. It would have cost you 10 gold to level up. So one gold interest and put in the Irelia for Mana Reaver. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been worse. So, okay. And also, you could have had the Redemption on the Cassidy, which would have been better. Yeah, and then you could put the armor on the Blitz because Blitz is your tank in the front. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So those are like small minor improvements. Maybe you don't win this, but maybe you kill another unit or two. And yeah. this, this I mean, shouldn't you, happen. You will see that in the end of the game, uh, this matters a lot. Um, okay. Because in the end it's just, I think, I don't know if it's fourth or fifth place. But yeah. it's definitely something, I mean, this, this HP would have been top four. Uh huh. What is the Kaisa two for? Oh, for the okay, okay, for the. Uh huh. Yeah, kill the blitz. You don't. Yeah, but I'm taking celestials out. Oh, okay. You can make the redemption. Now, oh. Yeah, so I think Cassidin would be a little bit better because Cassidin has this arm, but you you don't win this against like you you don't beat this guy anyway. Um, I was just too conservative on on, on Nikon. Like, Sally, no, it, it's it's, it's fine. It's it, this is fine. Like, like if you're not winning, you want to get to fifty gold. That's like mm. the other option. So you want a GA, I presume. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 J is fine. I just saw the jinx of potential red buff, but I guess you already have a carry. 
What I don't know is why the other guys, why no one else is picking up the Jinx. That That is beyond me. Good, you made it on that unit. Cool, cool. So front line is still non-existent. Okay, that's a little bit of a front line. Yeah, I should level at this. I should have. No, going to like no. this is fine. So you, you sell the Darius, you're at fifty. Like, it doesn't matter that much. Like, if you can't yeah, guarantee the win, getting to fifty gold is your is your like most important. Oh wow, okay. Oh, never mind. That's a very Tanky Malphite. There we go. That's that's more like it. Now this is okay. Why is this wrong? What do you want to happen this fight? Well, a Staturidia and Mela Reaver. I you see. want to lose this fight. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is one of my weaknesses. Okay, I'm, I'm overly aggressive and I'm just interrupting. Yeah, it's, oh, it's just, it's the wrong be, before PvE. Okay. Before PvE, you get, four is two. Yeah, four is two. So here you get one gold. If you maintain the last week, you will get two gold and two gold. So you lost three gold right now. You preserve some HP, but you lost three gold. So, yeah. Like, obviously, you should have one more earlier but like if you're losing this much just don't change like obviously you can't influence if you're going to win but you can quite easily influence whether you're going to lose or not yeah yeah uh sorry what like you can influence losing more than winning yeah that's what i mean i'm just doing win and losses during all stage two and three so kind of puts me in the middle station. oh god so now you're stuck with Blitz of a Tear. Yeah, I don't know for how long. Like you don't want Redemption on uh... her. Like Blitz, Blitz. The, oh, like what's the only item Blitz can, can, can use effectively? Zephyr. Yes. That is the only item I am allowing you to build on Blitz, okay? The, the Zephyr trick is, is really annoying, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, you got to build it already. Like, if you have it, yeah, you build it. Um, Infiltrator Irelia, maybe, or... Oh, Blade yeah, Master. What, yeah, that's Blade that's Master. I'm going, to do. I'm going to do the... Ah, uh, yeah. I, I often... This is also, I think, a mistake. It was a mistake in this game uh, to rush. As soon as I see Spatula and Bow, I just go straight for Infinite Spat on the Irelia. Okay. Look at this. Uh, okay, so don't actually look at the game because I got disconnected twice, which kind of frustrated me. So I, this was this was a first. This was definitely a first. If I hadn't, I got disconnected twice during the game. But yeah, look at this. This looks kind of fun, right? I mean, I got a second Blade Master Spatula, but the, I used the first one. Yeah. Blade Master Zeraph. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. With two Rage Blades. Because I had it, I had it on Kale, but I sold the Kale and I put it on Zarath. And like in the mid game, I had I had Fiora, Shen, uh, Blade Master, Cassidin, uh, Kale, Irelia. Wait, is that one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. Mm. So I had these six units as Blade Masters. Okay. And it was okay, so, so, okay. even even disconnecting twice during the game got me second place. <laughs> And this like my computer, my computer died, so I had to clean it. So now it's clean. But like, of course, this is this is this is a uh, low masters. But I guess it's a bit better than like your lobby anyway. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, um, blade master spatula is kind of underrated. I think it's it's really good on uh, MF, for example, or Zarath. Yeah, MF or Zarath, or in general, if you. If you manage to get uh, six blade master, it's really good for Kale. Like it's it's a decent build, or like even Cassidy in the mid game, just like uh, Jinx is a cool blade master as well. But you need more defensive units, so Cassidy is better. 
So yeah. So just like you should keep more options. Okay. So what does that do for you right now? Nothing. Nothing. There is exactly. No second feature in here. Yeah. That was that was the mistake. And yeah. You have four blade masters. Could you have put in Fiora and have five? You could have uh, Fiora and have six, right? You put in Fiora over Blitz, and you make Cassidy a Blade Master. So then you have six Blade Masters and three Cybers. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and then it's just, it's just done. I mean, it's just improving and getting upgrades. Yeah, but like, I like, is that something you would ever consider going six Blade Master with the Blade Masters patch roll? Well, now yes. Yeah. And in this game, not. Because no. like, this game I was like totally gone. Okay. What is infiltrator? Right what is infiltrator? I really do for you. Yeah, no, nothing. It's just nothing. Because there is no reset. Exactly. There, there, and and there's no echo. Like infiltrator, I really is good with cybers. On her own, it's not that amazing. Like it can be a bit annoying, but I think six blade master would have been a better play here. Or like you can do some crazy shit like uh, Protector ASO, which is like the most frustrating shit ever. If you get two star ASO with Protector and you have like tanky items on him, he doesn't die. Yeah. But yeah, so here six blade master would have would have been much stronger. I do like the reposition, so you jump in there. And yeah, Kale cleans it up. But Kale would have cleaned this up a lot faster with uh, Blade Master Spat. With like a six Blade Master. Why is it important that you? Uh, no, no, like that you uh, that you kill them fast and more you didn't survive. Yeah, I just inflict more damage. To yeah, them. more they damage is always good. Like. Yeah. When I was playing in the tournament, whenever I met my friend, I did like 8 damage to him in, the, in round like 2-3 and then 13 damage on like round 3-4 or something and he was just like, yeah, thank you for the damage. So in the late game, he, he managed to kill me, but in the early game, I always did a lot of damage to him. Yeah. So like selling the Irelia cost you 2-star Irelia. Potentially selling the Fiora was also useless, so it's like... These small things kind of add up. Even the yeah, I should have noticed that six BM was was a possible. It, it was open. It was possible. Yeah. No. Uh, the, okay. So six blade master is typically trash. Why? Okay. Why is it typically trash? Because it has bad units. Yeah. Because you need the Asso and mastery. Right? You don't want the Asso yeah. and mastery. You want Fiora Irelia. Because you have like plus one is cyber, you want Zaya for Celestial and and uh, you want Kale because she's amazing and Shen is a great tank. So those are like five amazing, like five good units, right? Like adding Fiora here doesn't feel that bad, right? Yeah, adding, yeah, you, sure. yeah, so that those are five like decent units. You would get cyber buff and then uh, yeah, you just make one unit Blade Master. So as long as you don't have to use Yasuo and Master Yi, Blade Masters are, are, are a decent synergy. If you have to use those two guys, then it's kind of kind of weak. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, Death Blade, like it, like it. Yeah, you're you're trying to target some people, great. Uh, what were your odds of playing the mech guy? One, one over four. Uh, okay. So, I mean, you, you moved the K a little bit, which is good, which actually probably won you the game or helped you win the game, so that's good. Yeah. Some good stuff. I mean, I, I cannot... That, that's, that's why I'm stuck right now. I think I have... I do very... I do good things, and... A few very, very bad things. Okay, so if you had the Blade Master Spatula, 
You can sell the kale. You sell whatever, whoever has it. Boom, Zarath. You would, you would give up the kale? It's a one-star kale. You have another kale yeah, on the bench. Okay. So you would have six blade master with Zarath as a blade master. And you have a rage blade. Do you know how OP that shit is? Mm. Like Zarath blade master is so strong. Especially if you have like decent frontline and, and if you manage to get a QSS on him, like, yeah, he's really powerful. Okay, so a really high one, but I didn't exploit it. Like, yeah, there's like a Zarath. That's a, there's a five cost. Like, whenever you get a five cost on level seven, really consider it if you can use it. I mean, ASO is trash, but like any other unit, like, you should really consider. So this is, this is the game saying... Do you want to win? And you're like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, no, it's fine. I don't want to win. It, no, no, I, I don't need to win. No. <laughs> but thank, thank you for offering, but may, maybe next game. Yeah. So obviously Poppy never dies, so that's okay. Oh, you buy the Zeref. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, I... I don't think this is for long. Uh, in my mind, it's just a way to just use my board. So there was a there was a karma in the shop, and now you have a lux. Do you do you realize that? There was a karma with with this Arath. and you also got a lux. Uh, I yeah, I didn't even. So that's like. I didn't pay attention to these potential people. Yeah, so it's just like I'm not saying it's good or like you should have done it, but it's like you have the bench space, you have the gold. Why not? And then if you get a Karma 2 and a Lux 2 and like you can you can pivot like you can pivot out of 6 Blade Master you can like just like keep more options open. Because I think you have a lot of stuff on your bench but you're probably not going to play the Zeref, the Kai'Sa, the TF, the the Caitlyn, the Ash and the Xin Chao. Yes, maybe you should just clear the bench. You, you can clear the bench or you can actually keep units which like the way... Um, I mean, I don't do this perfectly either. I'm not saying I, but like the way you should do these things is like if you have the gold, like keep good things on your bench, like a Zaref, like a uh, Lux and and uh, Karma, mm -hmm. and then on wait, this is thirty, this is thirty eight, so it'll be thirty six. So on five on five one, you go to eight and you roll and you see if you hit two star Zaref or if you at least get like two star Karma, two two star Lux. Like, whatever you get. Or maybe you get 2-star Kale, 2-star Irelia, and you sell the Lux and the Karma and the and the Zareth. Okay, yeah. It's, it's just about keeping options up and, and yeah. closing doors. So it's, like, you, you can keep, you, like, um, this is perfect. Like, look at this composition. The three units in the front, they can stay. I'm happy with the three units in the front. You can keep them until the end of the game. But the three units in the back, those are your carries. But they're look at them, they're, they're weak, they're trash. Yeah. So like if yeah, you had sure. like a, a um, Lulu, Zarath, uh, yeah, three units. Lulu, Zarath, Karma, and you add a Lux. Yeah, this is stronger. Yeah? yeah? So you still keep the Celestial, um, you lose the Mana Reaver, but you get Darkstar, you get, you get uh, Sorcerer. So it's like just having that option available to you. Yeah. Also, I didn't know what is running Dark Stars. I yeah. I'm not really sure it was yesterday, but I don't think anyone's running Dark Stars. Yeah. So Xerath is completely open. Yeah. And uh, three Dark Star is definitely, you don't want to go to six because it's it's a bait. Six is too weak. You want a good front line. Mm. And there was a Jarvan in case. Yeah. And there's another. Okay. So, yeah. So, okay, this is, this is, I mean, I gotta, okay. If you're gonna level and roll, that's what I, what I was saying. Keep good units on your bench. So, you sell everything, and then you start rolling. Right? Yeah. So, you, you can't even get anything else than what you already have. Like, you're saying, I want an Irelia, I want a Kale, fuck everything else. Which is just, just like the wrong approach to the game. Like, yeah, yeah I'm, I don't want to be like too rude, but that's just like not how, how it should yeah, be played. Yeah, like, 
it's it's completely stupid that you sell everything, then you level and then you roll. Like level, roll, and try to like figure something out. Yeah, maybe. Okay, do you know that you have four blade masters right now? You know that, right? Can we? Yeah. 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 So, what do you think of a two-star Ash instead of Zaya? It's much better. It is much better. It has a stun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there you go. There's another Ash, and you just sell everything, and like just like like you're blind, or. I mean, you do hit. You do hit like you do high roll like a. Okay. Yeah. Good job. But like. In case that doesn't happen, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah, I mean, by buying the units and having on the bench, like you're not preventing this from happening. Like, I'm happy for you that it happened, but if it hadn't yeah, happened, yeah. you were kind of fucked. Yeah, I was dead. And uh, I was and I still think I still think the if you got the, the three star uh, the two star ash over the Zion would be better, right? Yeah. 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 Obviously, Lulu's even better, but uh, like. Ash has a stun. Maybe even one star Ash. Like if one star Ash manages to stun, it's it's better than the little tickling that Zaya does. Like Yeah, it's completely really useless as well. I mean the Zaya is just Look at that, she tickled them, she tickled them a little bit. But if you get the Ash arrow, that does a lot more than a little tickle from, from Zaya. Yeah. And yeah, you have what is so it's Zaya Ash. Protectors or Lulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's Ash is the, the next best one if you don't have Lulu. How many Irelias are there? I don't know. Yeah, that's... That's... that's, that's <laughs> yeah. You should pick it up. Yeah, there you, there you go. And now you can count. Okay, so there's actually I three. See, yeah. Yes, someone, someone else. Yeah. So you either need to wait for him to die or you can, ab like, you can abandon Irelia. But he's going, so he's going standard cybers, which is probably a bit weaker than what you're going. Yep. Six, six cybers is worse than this kind of mix. Um, um, okay. Uh, 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 no, look at look at his. Um, why did he lose? What is he missing? Oh. Fresh. No. Zaya. Oh, right, so he doesn't have Celestial. Yeah, he doesn't have Celestial. He doesn't have Blade. No, he oh, he has Blade Master. Master. Yeah. So he's okay. waiting to go 9 and get Thresh. But I. And oh, but he has a Redemption. Or do you, you have a Redemption? Does he have a Redemption? I don't think he had a Redemption. Ba so. Basically, Irelia does crazy damage, which you can see she did a decent amount of damage, but uh, she needs the Celestial buff. Without without that, she's useless. While your Irelia was uh, a lot more useful, because okay, maybe not that much useful, but uh, she she heals. Yeah. Celestial is extremely underrated with with like Kale and Irelia. Okay, so you think you're getting three star Cassidy, or you're just buying it for now? Yeah. This is this is. Uh, at this stage, I'm, I'm, I'm warning you. This is where I start throwing the game out, and this this is the first. This is the first. Uh, um. Why are you not picking up the chose? Are are not are chose not better than the Vi? I think they are. Yeah. If, yeah. If they will, they will. Because I love cybers. Yes. So. Uh. Okay. So. You need to like think about it. Like, are you going to nine or not? If you're not going to nine. Then screw it and like upgrade what you have. Like instead of Vi, put in the Cho, for example. If you are going to nine, then just econ and get to nine as fast as possible, and probably put in a put in an echo. Or, yeah, or yeah, echo or Lucian. It's up to you. But like your blasters won't really. Yeah. So Lucian probably. Uh, so yeah, echo would be better. To, to yeah. Oh, echo those. would be yeah. Echo would be infiltrator. So you definitely want echo. I hope you don't miss any echoes. That would also be bad. This is intense. Wait, what? Oh, thieves clubs. Yeah, I thought like he had powerful items there. 
I don't know if you like fist gloves. Would you, if you get two gloves, very early, would you slam those? Or would you just... Oh, I love fist gloves. Yeah, fist gloves are amazing. Okay. Like, especially if you're playing, like, a good composition. Oh, okay, so he did have a... Okay, but he's dead now, so, yeah, he had a Zarek. If you're playing a good composition, like you are now, uh, these gloves on... Um, K on MF wouldn't hurt, for example, right? And they're also decent on tanks because uh, they give you a lot of dodge. Yeah, good, 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 good. That's probably the best item. The the tier uh, the redemption on the blitz is really, really tough. It would be so much better on the on the Cassidy. You you will remember that for now, right? Really? Yeah. Just to help him sustain and and get models. <laughs> you want Cassidy to cast his ult for sure. So he okay. needs four attacks. This way he needs three attacks. And Kassadin is an ult bot. Like, he goes, he ultis, he dies. That's like his only job, basically. Unless you have a three-star Kassadin who can ulti like two times and win the fight. But Kassadin is like the ult, like, he's just there for the ulti. And he, he's like, a, act like, if you think about it, how are Kassadin and Blitz different? Uh, you're right, yeah, they, there is no really, yeah, you just take ult and then... No, no, but what is the difference between Cassidy and Blitz? Blitz tanks, okay. Um, I'm, I'm speaking more... Their, no, like, their abilities. More, like, more more broadly. Cassidy is kind of a carry suppressor, and Blitz is more like a gap closer for a team to, uh, to get someone. Okay, I'm just gonna give you the answer. So, Cassidy is melee and goes there and smacks him and dies. Blitz is a ranged unit, kind of, because he hooks something and then he fights the unit. So Blitz doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. You want you want a unit like the, the the idea behind redemption is you want on a unit who goes and gets killed. So Vi is is not that good because Vi is a great tank, but like Shen Shen is maybe not as good, but Cassidy is like the most the best one, and then Shen then Vi and then maybe Blitz, because you have it on a melee unit, which is good, but it's technically not a melee unit because it just it doesn't go anywhere, while the other units go there and get killed. Yeah. So that's yeah, like true. the thought behind Redemption is I want on a unit that can survive for a little bit. And then gets killed in the middle of the fight. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the thought process behind mm. behind it. And you move as you move the MF, unfortunately, like that. Yeah. Oh man, Kale got no Kale don't got this, unfortunately. I really oh, look at that. You see the oh my god, that celestial buff right there. That celestial buff carrying you. For anyone watching. Please always get Celestial buff when you have powerful carries like that. Okay, so now that you played the Infiltrator guy, yeah, you're repositioning. Good, good, good. Okay. Wait, is that the guy I flamed before? Yeah. Oh, he he hit two star echo. Oh, and thresh. Okay, okay. That's all right. I I still prefer the the celestial variant, but this is okay as well. With thresh, yeah. yeah. There are these two variants, yeah. And the fact that he has two star echo as well, yeah. Mm. I mean, we we talked about. Thinking about whether we go to nine mode. When do you start wondering this? Um, when, when do you, when are you saying, oh, I may be going nine. I'm sure you're not going nine. Okay. Until I saw this, if I if like if I if you put me in the game right now and I and I like until I saw the infinite spatula, I would be like, I need echo. 
like you need to put in one more unit right okay. so like sometimes you go nine just to put in another cool unit sometimes you go nine because you have to um are there any upgrades you're looking for actually like you have everything no, already really. yeah so you go nine like there's nothing you can add you already have all your all your carries are already like everything is two star everything is two star so you can go nine to get mf2 and echo like this is your game i, I i'm really like uh, intrigued how you lost this because this is this is like you, you are going to see and i apologize yeah. i apologize to everyone for <laughs> what's going to happen in 20 seconds okay I, really this is at the moment it felt okay but but then if it's so you, you're going to you're not going to watch you you're not going to believe it it's it's coming it's coming just wait no but what are you rolling for uh, uh, yeah, I was a bit stupid. What the fuck are you? What are, what are you rolling for? Tell me. No, nothing. There is no. There is no reason. I don't have. I don't even have a fresh. I just. I think I just saw. Oh, 45 HP. I. I, I cannot go nine. Even though it, there is no reason to. But you had 50 gold. You, yeah. Yeah. Isn't this enough to go nine? Like. This is. You have enough to go nine right now. Yeah, and there is nothing to upgrade. So. Like, I would not go nine now. I would go nine on maybe six two because it's now it's uh, mm. fifty six. It'll be fifty two on six two, and you have some gold to roll with, or maybe you find an echo, or like you can just like get to nine, roll a little bit, add another unit. Yeah, but I have no idea, and yeah, but this is like a huge. So I like. Even you watching this, you realize it was a huge stupid mistake. Oh my god, so 77 gold. And you can't go 9? Yeah, that, that's... yeah. You, you can't add a Jinx? Like, go 9, add Jinx? And then just, like, chill from there? I, it, I really didn't even consider it. I, I was just... I don't even know what I was rolling for. Yeah, add Which Jinx? probably yeah. the problem. Well, that's... Like, yeah. If you don't know what you're rolling for, then that's a huge problem. Because <laughs> yeah. first of all, there is nothing to roll for. Like, you're not getting Ivelia 3. I don't know about Kale. I think someone is playing Kale as well. Maybe not. Maybe they died. So maybe you can get Kale. Cassidy in 3 is kind of useless because you don't have any items. Right? You want to level the units you have items on. So Cassidy in 3 isn't that great because you don't have anything to like make him even stronger. So rolling here, this is just like, maybe, maybe I, I want to lose. So I, I, I want to lose the game. So then you get a Cho. Yeah. Get a shield. You get extra waves. And, excuse me? And it becomes. No, okay, it's next round. Uh, okay, so uh, was like, I, I got a show, so I could so you were rolling for thresh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What and is another mistake? To use the Lulu and the Shogun on the bench. On the, on the okay. Bench. Okay. Why? Uh, fine. But what is another huge mistake? I guess no, but that's unacceptable as well. Yes, that. It's because I, I wanted to put him, but I didn't know on which unit. And I kind of hesitated. Does it matter? What if, like, you can put it on Zaya, you can put it on uh, Kassadin, you can put it on Vi. Makes I ended up putting it on Kassadin yeah. uh, next round. And, and I felt it was what made me lose, but not that we have reviewed this. I think I lost this by going not going 9. Uh, not 100%. 100%. You could have added Thresh at 9. You could have added Thresh at 9. You could have added uh, Echo, but once you once you get, like, you can just add Thresh at 9. Or you can add, you can add, uh, yeah, you can add a Jinx. Or you can add whatever. Like, maybe you need more Frontline. Add a Wukong. Or, yeah, add Thresh, and then you have, like, Wukong 2, Cho 2 on your bench. Yeah, so... So, that's, yeah, I really, uh... I don't know how to make the video, but I, I guess I should, like, if you put, 
infiltrator ta talents on the wrong unit, it's still better than not putting on any unit. You get lucky and you win this. Yeah. Okay, but... Okay, so then... But you still could have... And we're, we're, we're rolling, we're rolling. We don't want any gold. Yeah, we don't want any gold. Fuck gold. Who needs gold? So, but I mean, this is... Yeah. Uh, are you kidding me? Lulu over Zaya! For fuck's sake! If you're thinking of taking out Cassidy but not Zaya? Has Zaya done anything? The whole game! I don't, yeah, I don't think Zaya did anything even around two! Or like <laughs> stage two! And you still have her in there! <laughs> Zaya is there. Zaya is there for for Celestial and for Blade Master. You have four. You have Blade Masters, and you would have Celestial. So, yeah. Moving on. Yeah, it's interesting because I really thought doing the Cassidy Infiltrator was what made me lose, but this is actually not the biggest problem. No, the biggest problem is he didn't go nine. Like I don't understand. It's like. I really thought I made, I just made my, my frontline disappear by removing the Cassadin out of it. Okay, and so... Yeah, everyone is nice, everyone is stronger. Well, because they want to win! <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to throw gold. Like, I you're mean, at 77 good. gold! 77 gold! And it costs 56 to level up. You wait one level, you're at, like, you're at 87 or 88 gold. Or maybe even more. And it costs you 52. So you're left with 36 gold. Like, the. the, the, the I don't even understand why they didn't even think, oh, can I go now? It's just. I okay. Um, okay, this is kind of, kind of important. Uh, when, when do we go nine? For what reason do we go nine? I know I, you I asked me before, but. But we go nine if we want to add some legendary units so we, we go nine if you want to win the game yeah. and if we're not playing a uh, void brawler for example or mech like mech can can win on eight voids can win on eight um space jam can win on eight uh, some sort of uh zaya carry can win on eight but if, you, if you're not playing like a slow roll or hyper roll comp like basically if you're not playing a comp, if you're playing whatever you find, then you want to go 9 because you can find more cool stuff. Okay. Like even adding a Lucian here would be great. At least for the cyber buff. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah? Right. And, uh, yeah, okay, and now you're saying your front line is too weak. So then if you had gone 9 and you put in the Cho'Gath, for example, that would have been cool too. Yeah, and the infield thing would have... Wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, if you had a Cho'Gath as well, like... I mean, now that, like... So now you you realize that info on Castledin was wrong. That's why I said put it on Zaya. Like, if you're unsure, just put it on Zaya, because Zaya is completely useless anyway, so you can get, make her info trader. She'll at least give you two buffs. She's there for Blade Master and Celestial. She's no longer giving you Blade Master, so she'll give you Celestial and info trader. So, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, this is for MF. Yeah. So this is a bit confusing that you still lose this. I, I lose this because everyone is like 10 HP. And it's just down to one fight. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? How is Lulu one better than Cho 2? It's not. It's not. Uh, what? Oh, for fuck's sake. How can you win this fight? How, how, no like... Way. There is no way I win. No, but how can you win this fight? Oh, I, I can, I. Um, but I really need to show you. MF2 is the way to win this fight. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, it's like... By having two lose on the bench, like they're not gonna have as much impact as MF two. So even though you're level eight, 
even though there's like a extremely small chance of getting her, I would still try to get MF2. This is like, I'm desperate, and sometimes I even roll down to zero, and I would even sell a unit. Like, I've done that before, and I've won games. Like, I won games with eight units out of nine because I managed to three-star my Kale, and I had to sell whatever to do it. Like you you can sell the loot like you can sell Lulu roll sell Lulu roll 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 then you can maybe like sell the Zaya and just put in the MF like like MF two would be such a crazy power spike for you that you could probably turn it around and yeah, and the, and and the, and the stupidest thing is you didn't go to nine like had you gone to nine your odds of getting MF two go up by how much? Massive. I think it's 15, 6 to 15. That's 150%. Yeah. Like 6 to 6 to 15, like that's 150%. So it's like, yeah, 150% higher chance to get MF2. So, yeah. I clearly didn't know what, what my comp needed as an additional power. I mean, I love, the I love the fact that you're playing a flexible comp. This is brilliant. Like you're playing something cool. Why not? But you kind of fumbled it. Uh, yeah, completely. Yeah. And there, I'm positioned, I guess, in this position for the GP, but it's Infiltrator, so I don't actually mana river the GP. And oh, it's... shit, you have double inf <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing. That's... Yeah, that's a joke as well. Yeah, so maybe, just maybe, you, you now know that Castle Infiltrator is not the best. Oh, and now I'm never doing this again. Okay, never. that's good, because that's good. <laughs> This was a free top one. Yeah, it, it really was. Okay, so Lulu, okay. I was first with 60 HP, so... And, and 77 go to, to go to 9. Yeah! <laughs> and, and you're like, oh, n no, no. So, yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I joked around, I joked about the, the Zareth. Not one thing, you, like you saying no thank you to Zareth, which was a win. But, yeah. Rolling down there. Yeah, so, I mean... But it's just like a few minor things. It's a, it's a. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The rest is the rest looks fine, but it's just these two free things that just cost four places. Oh, okay, whatever. I can't see your rank. Uh, it's like forty six something, right? Uh, diamond three forty one LP. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's around yeah diamond three yeah diamond three. MMR is a bit better, it's more like Diamond 2, but... Yeah. So... There are, like, there were the small things which you fumbled early, but then there was this big thing which you completely fucked up. So, yeah. yeah. It's more yeah. like... Playing the game is actually quite mentally demanding. Like, if I'm playing on Grandmaster and I know that I need to top 4 every game, it's extremely demanding. Like, I can't just fool around. Like, I really need to consider, okay, so how can I improve this board? How can I reposition? How can I, like, what could I be doing? What is everyone else doing? Am I getting the best composition available? Do my items work for my composition? Like, so many things to consider. And, like, you make a great composition, but then you just throw it away. So, yeah. Um, this, this may be the worst game I ever had, just because of this. It's not because yeah. it's bad RNG. It's just, I was lucky with RNG. Yeah. Just I, I threw it away. Yeah. And th that's that's kind of like on 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 this account I I mess around, so like on my on this account like this account I have a lot of disconnects as well. So those are the eighth places are disconnects mostly, and I mess around. But on this account I'm proud to show you now. Oh wow! <laughs> like I don't get below top four because it's grandmaster. I have to take it seriously. So I don't I don't go below top four. Like that's my last. I think it was a seventh. Yeah. So that's how you climb. Like you cannot get worse than uh, than uh, fourth. Yeah, I also believe yeah. that if you play flexible and you don't burn game away, top four is attainable in most of the cases. It is because. Most of the time, like that was that's that's the funny thing, especially in like lower elo, like you don't even have your your comp together, and everyone's dying off. Like if you had gone to nine, and you're like, I, I should go to nine. Maybe I put an echo. Maybe I put in this, and you're like, just you're still figuring it out, and like, oh, 
I'm already second. Okay, maybe I just win. So that's kind of like those are the those are the games you enjoy the most. Like where you just like randomly win. Like yeah. Well, no, no, no. This is on a different account. Like I, I, I was helping my friend play, and like on his account in in diamond in platinum four, I'm like, what the hell? Like I can play whatever competition I want. I played rebels. I played uh, no, um, yeah, rebels are good. But I mean, I played space chan. I play whatever I want, and it just. It's a lot of fun. Like in Diamond, you can really have fun. Like you, you, and if you start having fun like this right now, and you do it correctly, it'll take you to Challenger. So I'm, I'm really glad you showed me this game because it's like not, uh, cutty, uh, cookie cutter comp. Yeah, I really like the flexible playstyle. I yeah. really think this is the way the game. Yeah. Ideally, should be played. I, I never at the wrong. I don't throw wrong. I don't like these comps. I never do go for them. Yeah. And it's like, I, I feel like discovering how to play flexible almost opened a new game to me. Yeah. Like, I got D4 just spamming meta comps. Yeah. And I got not interested anymore in the game. And then I discovered that you could play flexible. And I was like, oh, it's a new game. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is. It's like, and it's extremely boring. That's why I, I lost in a tournament yesterday because it's like I played against a guy who played Rebels every game. Another guy always played voids, and I played, I played uh, three different compositions. So this was like preliminary. So preliminary round, I was second and third, and then I no. Preliminary, I think. What is this? Normal. I was fourth and second, and then I was third, like in the finals, and then I'm like, I'm not going rebels again. That's too boring. So I, I tried to go like mech, and for some reason, other people went mech, and then I tried to go. Uh, Chrono Ash and everybody kept getting Ash, so whatever. Oh, oh, I couldn't get GP. I know what the problem was. I, I had a Rumble and I couldn't get GP. So yeah, mm. because it was a little Legends. But it's like I like playing different compositions. Yeah. But on on when I play ranked, it is kind of boring. Like I do play, I do kind of play the best compositions usually. So I do play Voids. I do play Rebels a lot. I do play like the most powerful composition I can. Okay. Yeah. But then there's like some, yeah, you can kind of see it's it's kind of boring. Like what I'm playing, it's like Rebels, which are boring. I played a Candyland game because I just got the, got the Poppy easily. Yeah, so you just, so it's, I guess what I'm saying is on, on my Master account, I have more fun. While on my Grandmaster account, it's like really, I'm focused and I'm just doing the best, best comps ever. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I would do, I would use CDs. This account, I mean, my, my goal is automated to time to master before the season reset. Oh, you have lots of time. I mean, I have, I mean, uh, six days from today. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Back to work. <laughs> but that's, but yeah, it's just, yeah. that's just like 300 LP or something like that. That's yeah, not that hard. 260, yeah. Oh, come on, you can get that in a day. <laughs> what? Really? No. I can lose that. I, I can lose half of it in a day. But I don't know if I can win it. This was, this was, like, this was a good day. Wait, where's the... When I have a good day, like, when I, when I was calling for Grandmaster, I just did it on a good day. So, oh, well, it says, yeah, it yeah, says... That, that's, that's not a good day. This is a fantastic day. It says one day ago, but here it was. I think, I think it was, I started, I started with the win. I started here. So I was, yeah, 30, 33, 33, 33, 10. Nine, yeah. So this was this is in one day. This was all in one day. So, okay, maybe maybe I lied. It's it's uh, one hundred and ninety in one day. Yeah. That's awesome. But how do you manage to be that consistent even throughout the same day? Uh, because I heard that people only play three, four games a day, as it is very mentally challenging. But this is master. So, uh, you can see here, this is like one day ago, one week ago, like I, I, I don't play that much anymore on Master Count, because it is, it is draining. So here I was, I was, because I was climbing to Grandmaster, so I'm like, I have to do it, I have to focus. But now I play like one game a day to make sure I don't DK, because I need, I, I don't have enough games, so I need to play a few to not DK. Alright. But, um... The, the the easiest way is to just is to just play aggressively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, so pre-leveling, leveling, if you can have a good synergy, 
and try to put pressure on, on everyone. Like, I mean, what the hell is this? It's like, it is three rebels, three blade masters, two blast. Like, this is trash. Like, I don't know why the fuck I played this, but I got fourth because I had enough HP. Right? Yeah. yeah I see. Then here, I, I had a Kale with Thieves Gloves, but a Kale won, so it's like, what the hell? Still fourth, because I was aggressive. This was seventh. It, it really yeah, set me back a little bit. Wait, this is two days ago? Oh, this is... Ah, this is not ranked. Yeah. So basically, like, in ranked, you just... You just have to level up as fast as you can and play good competitions. Right. That is... That like, kind of opens the, the game for you. Like, games that you, you uh, would have lost. Yeah. Like, conservative sorry, I'm sorry. Are just suddenly winnable because you, you're just aggressive. I was showing you the wrong account. I'm stupid. This is, this is my Path of Gaming account. This one is, like, more troll. But here, like, as you see, like, I, I have... My favorite is Rebels. So I, I try to go for Rebels. I try to get Jinx and MF and ASO and GP and Lulu. So this is like a first. You can't you can't lose with this. Then I got another first with, with the same comp. And yeah, then I then I try different compositions. If I don't get it, like but that's the thing. I think it was I think it was really uh Lulu with with uh, uh Poppy with an armor. And that got me oh. to fourth place because I made Titans Resolve, then I made Dragon's Claw, and then I like Pop you with an armor. Look at this, like three stars, three stars, everything is three stars. Still, I still got fourth place. But it's knowing all the meta comps, and if you get a good start in one of them, then just play it. That's yeah. also like you can you can play flexibly, but if you're giving something, just take it. I mean like, that's ultimately playing flexible yeah. means that if a level comp is given to you, you're going to play it. Yeah. This is being flexible. Uh Rebel I kinda of force. I, I'm not gonna lie, I do force it a bit. Like <laughs> I mean, it's so powerful. Of course, you. you but uh, it's like I play a lot of cybers, and then as soon as as soon as Jinx shows up, I start like accumulating rebels because the rebels are useless. Like you want Ziggs, Jinx, you want Ziggs and Jinx. It's like Ziggs, Jinx, and uh, Sona. Yeah. And here I even have, yeah I have Cassidy as well and Lulu. I think it's two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, what? I'm confused. Oh, I had a I had a rebel spat. Yeah, yeah, I had a rebel spat. So I added I added, I added celestial for some reason. Yeah, but yeah, that that's kind of how it is. Um, so I I I like going cyber early, and then I can make Irelia or or Jinx or potentially Jin, and then see where that takes me. Okay. Yeah. Cause this is this is like, and I had a really cool game here as well where, where I got uh. KL3 for some reason, like nobody actually got her. Yeah, here. This was. And look at these like rapid fire cannon, red buff, floor breaker. Like I have the most random items ever. Because I was just like making items. I was just making items whenever I could. I just made items. And I lost the game. Uh, where's the Where's the game I was showing you? Um, yeah, here, here it is. Yeah. I so, you know you could win with. win. With friend buff on KO. Yeah. And yeah, it, it's a three-star KO. I have MF, and it's like, yeah. But the thing is, I have a Zephyr, so I I won a lot early, and then I won the late game with by Zephyring the right unit. That's also like Zephyr is the most OP item ever. So like, would you even buy, create a Zephyr very early in the game? Uh, early it's useless, or it's not that good, but later you need it. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I guess that that's about it. Enough of uh, chit chatting. Um, you have you have the video uploaded in a in a bit. And if you have any more any more questions, you can just reach out to me on Discord. Sure, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, and thank you for stopping by, Kiwi. Uh, thanks a lot for coaching. Welcome. Bye bye. See. You.